Hi there, my name is Aaron Latterman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, and this is Signs by Cherry Audio. It's one of the more interesting software synthesizers to come across my radar screen in recent memory. A voice in Signs has four oscillators that can modulate each other. And although this probably makes most people think about the four operator Yamaha synths, like the TX81Z, that number four made me think of the Buchla 700. Now, a Buchla 700 has always been difficult to get a hold of, and it's particularly hard to get a hold of nowadays. But you can explore my approximation of the Buchla 700 that I wrote in the Super Collider music language. You can download the source code for that from my GitHub page. But if you want a polished soft synth that emulates the Buchla 700, you should check out Jonathan Schatz's ID 700. So if you go to Johann Baerberg's Buchla 700 archaeology webpage and scroll down a little bit, he has this screen image that doesn't actually occur in a production Buchla 700. So I don't know if this is from a prototype version of the 700, or if maybe this is a mock-up that Buchla and his coworkers made while planning out the GUI. Because this Configuration 11 tapped FM ring doesn't actually occur in the Production 700. But if we scroll down a little bit and look at the configurations, you'll see that there's an equivalent configuration, which is Configuration 2. And this is basically a ring of four oscillators, each modulating the other, with the output tapped every other oscillator. Now, it's a little hard to see that it's a ring because of the way this is folded up. But if you'll trace it through, you'll see it is a ring structure. The circles correspond to oscillators, an input to a circle corresponds to a frequency modulation input, and a triangle corresponds to basically an envelope generator. So the combination of a circle with a triangle at its output would correspond to what Yamaha calls an operator. Now A and B, and the 3 and 6 you see here, these correspond to wave shaping facilities on the 700 that we're not going to look at here. We're just going to assume that the wave shapes are diagonal lines. ID 700 starts the numbering of its algorithms with 1 instead of 0. So in ID 700, this 4 oscillator ring is called algorithm 3 instead of algorithm 2. So let's try implementing that FM ring in signs. So let's hit new to make sure we've initialized a new patch. So that's not a very pure sine wave, but that's okay because pure sine waves are boring. Anyway, we have the first oscillator volume turned up and the other oscillators off. So that's just a sine wave. I should mention that in my Pro-Q analyzer here, let's see, we have some settings. I have these settings, resolution maximum, tilt is off, and speed is very fast. All right, so what we don't want to do is to modulate the frequency with another oscillator. Let me show you what happens if we do that. So I'm going to click source here and we'll say we're modulating with oscillator two. And now I'm gonna turn up the modulation. It's very inharmonic and weird. That's because this is modulating exponentially and we want linear frequency modulation. So to do that, we actually need the phase modulation here. So what Yamaha and most folks call frequency modulation is really technically phase modulation in terms of how it's implemented. The main thing is here we have a linear frequency modulation effect. So let's see, we're going to modulate oscillator one with oscillator two. There we go. Let's play with the ratio. That's kind of fun. All right, so now let's take oscillator two and modulate it with oscillator three. Crank that up. There we go. Let's play with ratios. That's interesting, there's this low frequency beating effect. But I don't really have an LFO in play. 
All right, so now we want to take oscillator three and modulate it with oscillator four. There we go, play with ratios. All right, so now let's take oscillator four and modulate it with oscillator one. Crank that up. Oh, that gets chaotic very quickly. So I have each of these just turned up just a little bit. Let's play with ratios. And let's see, if we wanted to emulate the Buchla 700 patch, we would also want to dial in this oscillator in terms of hearing it. Here's the others if you want to hear them. I'll turn them back out here. Let's see. Let's play around with the LFOs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click these vias, and this is going to let me control the amount of modulation with another modulation source. So let's use via LFO1, LFO2. This will be via LFO3 and via LFO4 on the last one. <laughs> Change some ratios. Goes chaotic very quickly. Oh, what about panning? Can I pan this voice this way and then pan this voice this way? Okay, I think that's enough Sonic Mayhem for one day.